Hello, I'm Scripture. And I'm Wes. Today we'll be covering the most pressing news of the past week. Such as, are we all going to die when the moon blocks the sun? Are we sick of seeing two monsters fighting? And what's the deal with the cyber truck? All that and more on the sizzle reel. The world is going to end next week. Or at least that's what people have been saying on TikTok. On April 8th, the United States will be experiencing a total eclipse from approximately 2.27 p.m. to 3.35 p.m. Eastern Time. An exciting event for most people. Some TikTok users believe it signals the start of the Great Cataclysm. The reasoning for this prophecy? Not only will the eclipse be within the continental United States, but the total eclipse path will also go over all six U.S. towns named Nineveh, named after the biblical city of Nineveh. So are we really doomed? Probably not. Here are the facts. It is true that the total eclipse path does go through the continental United States, but it also goes through Mexico and Western Canada. As for towns named Nineveh, there are actually eight U.S. towns with that name, and the 115 mile wide eclipse path only covers two of them. So your weird aunt, she should really not believe everything she hears off of TikTok. What's better than a giant gorilla fighting an atomic lizard? A giant gorilla fighting beside an atomic lizard to defeat another giant ape. This past week, the sequel to Godzilla vs. King Kong was released, titled Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire. The new movie sees Godzilla and King Kong team up to fight a tyrannical ape leader in the hollow earth. Unfortunately, the film has been met with middling reviews from critics, receiving a 54% on Rotten Tomatoes and a 6.7 on IMDb. The main issue critics seem to have is that the story involving humans is lackluster and not scientifically accurate. However, I believe the main issue is that the same critics came to see a movie where lizard breathes radiation and a gorilla uses a gauntlet, expecting it to have good human characters and realistic science. The Queen Bee Beyonce has people saying yee-haw with their switch to country on her most recent album, Cowboy Carter. Though a departure from her typical music, Beyonce fans seem to be fully embracing the switch, downing new cowboy boots and giving their rodeo drunk dance. Though the reception hasn't been all positive, when her song Texas Hold'em topped the Billboard's Hot Country Songs charts, some took the opportunity to call the song fake country and low-hanging cash grab. In response, true fans have been quick to tear down the fake country claims because Beyonce was actually born and raised in Texas, living in Houston until she was 21 years old. As for whether Beyonce would be able to withstand the country music criticism, we here at Sizzle Reel have under good authority that she is a survivor. Elon Musk's cyber truck has buyers saying, what the fuck? Elon Musk boasted that Tesla's most recent electric vehicle innovation, the Cybertruck, was apocalypse-proof and built for any planet. Now imagine consumer surprise when their $80,000 Cybertruck wasn't able to drive to the grocery store on Earth. The Cybertruck has been plagued by issues that a standard car would have no issue with, such as the body of the car lacking a clear coat, causing it to rust and degrade, tire walls eroding faster due to the Cybertruck's unique tire design, rear view visibility issues, poor side to side visibility, and brake failure while off-roading. In addition to the mundane issues, Cybertruck does have some extra special issues, including, but not limited to, needing software updates mid-drive requiring the driver to pull over, the singular windshield wiper does not wipe the entire windshield, the front truck has no safety features, giving it a capability to cut off fingers, and finally, not being bulletproof, even though Elon Musk insisted it would be. Cybertruck was released to shareholders in late November 2023, but the internet is already host to many videos of the Cybertruck's shortcomings. We are excited to see what fails next on the Cybertruck in the coming year. That's what we have this week. I have been Scripture. And I've been Wes. See you next week on the Sizzle, Sizzle Reel. Reel. Stay spicy. Hey.